So, how do I say this? This is not supposed to be a word of division. Your parents are not your excuse. Your childhood is not your excuse. I have heard of too many people who have had rough, rough backgrounds, who make something of themselves and choose to be positive about their life. And I know that's hard to hear sometimes, especially if you're on the teetering point between becoming good or bad. But your parents are not your excuse. Your children are not your excuse. Nobody went wrong. People that have kids to make carbon copies of themselves should not be allowed to have children. That is not what humans do. Humans become their own unique individual beings. That is their nature. That is their destiny. And anybody who tries to put a halt to that and make everybody feel like they have to be the same is wrong. Yes, people have similar needs and wants like food and shelter and happiness and love and, you know, but but not but everybody is unique and a woman the other day said that to me and it really meant something because i was kind of generalizing and in the way she said it it really it really has called to me she said god made everybody unique god made everybody god didn't make everybody as carbon copies and 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 for some reason i needed to hear that and it's true and so when people have children to make carbon copies of themselves and then look at their children like oh what a disappointment and make these people feel bad about themselves because they didn't become what they envisioned for them that's wrong that's the wrong thing but it's wrong for the children and it's wrong for the children to look at their parents like they weren't good enough as well because most parents gen- generally genuinely do their best with what they have It's not, don't, don't, you know, like, that's what I would think maybe I should title this. Like, what's your excuse, you know? As somebody who used to be kind of like hypochondriatic when I'm, and I'm 35 now, so I'm talking like uh, middle school age. Like, I used to be able to really lie myself in and out of some situations. And those lies caught up to me, and it was hard for me to have to face them. But now that I have faced them and made it through, I can genuinely say you save yourself a lot of fucking time when you don't give excuses for whatever you are, you know, like, you know, yeah, there's times when people are going to make you feel like you're not good enough and you aren't good enough. But what you have to realize is that's for their vision. Just because you don't fit into their vision doesn't mean you're not good enough. And you do fit into God's vision, you know? And God wants you to be confident. God wants you to be, uh, uh, loving and love like god doesn't want you to feel like a fucking like you have to hide and hate and be scared like don't you know and so all i'm saying is like it's good to have compassion when people struggle because it is true if you only come from a uh, uh, there's two things coming up there's a story like a hindu story about a woman who gets pregnant by a bad king and she knows he's a bad king and she prays to the gods the whole time to, to bless her son to make sure that he gets out of the the line of evil that he's being born into and the gods save the son and i believe in this kind of thing i think that stuff is real because if that kid didn't know if that mother just was like yeah this is evil you know didn't pray that kid would have probably turned out more evil you know um but And by evil, I think what I mean is choosing to do the wrong thing knowingly, choosing to to, to do what's wrong and, and wanting to. That's acting evil. And some people don't want to act evil, like say my cigarettes, for instance, like some people to the, to the day of their deathbed will, will preach and say that this is a wrong act. This is hurting myself. This is not good for me. The smells bad. It's a, it's 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 tacky. It's an addiction. There are a lot of people who will swear by it, you know. And you know whether I'm addicted to them or whether I just really like smoking cigarettes. I don't know if it really matters. Like, uh, um, it's so relative. Like, is it an like that's where the that's where you're taking the time to really think about what's right and wrong and being honest with yourself is is what's important because. Am I really hurting anybody by having a cigarette? Who is really getting hurt here? And what is getting hurt? And and you have to be able to ask yourself those questions when it comes to being honest. And it's very hard, but it's also very necessary if what you want is truth and justice and righteousness and love. And, and you know, some days it's just, we just want some popcorn, you know? And, and it's just, it's an interesting... Uh, 
So, like, what's your excuse? What's your excuse? So, like, take, for example, the deaf community. Okay, there's a Gallia Debt University. Uh, wanted to have a, a deaf deaf president. The the people that went to the university, it was a deaf school, and they wanted a deaf president. And as a result of this, they got the deaf president, but the Congress then wrote into Congress uh, that being deaf is a disability. And it got taken to a different place where all of a sudden there's an excuse. There's a Instead of it being like, no, we just understand each other better, we're just different, we have a different reality that we're working with here, it became, it, it, compared to the rest of us, this is a disability. And that's what ends up happening. It's like, and then what happens is you get some kind of funding for it if you have these disabilities. Like I was thinking with my dog, like I have a dog. And I was thinking I could get her as like a, a su- emotional support dog. But do I really want to be walking around b- p- making myself a vulnerable target? Oh, I need emotional support. Who doesn't need emotional support? Like, who, who are these? Like, I, I get it. Like, I'm a pretty, I'm a big loner. I'm, I have a lot of moments where I'm like, I don't need any support. I'm fine. But at the end of the day, you know, yeah, I get support from gods and, a- you know, God and, and the angels, if anything, if it's not people. And it would be, it, it would be wrong of me to say that there's people that don't give me support. Um, so I don't know. There is no excuse. You know, it's like at the end of the day, you shouldn't need an excuse to do what you want to do. You shouldn't have to lie about it. You shouldn't have to manipulate the situation to, you know, and if it means losing people and friends and jobs and, and money and all that, but it's actually what you want to do, then I say go for it. (laughs) I really, you know, this is my YouTube channel. And if you do decide to do something and, and ruin your own life, do not blame me. Because sometimes these ruining, there's a difference between sabotaging your your good your good thing and and actually getting real, and and um, all too often uh, I've seen sabotage rather than just like like just getting real. And so I don't I'm not encouraging you to sabotage your life. I'm just saying that um, if somebody's giving you ultimatums t- to be happy. You know, that's not true. It's not true happiness. It's like if somebody makes you like there's certain things that you just can't help about yourself. Like your personality is your personality, whether or not you like it or embrace it or somebody else does. At the end of the day, it's what you're with. That's your personality. And and, you know, you you shouldn't feel any way about it. You shouldn't feel good or bad about it because it's what it is. But somehow we live in this culture that makes us sell ourselves and make commercials out of ourselves and our this commercials for the, <laughs> I was thinking yesterday are we just make commercials out of ourselves oh pardon while this uh, manic depressive person has a moment of uh, mental breakdown we'll be back with the real show when they're happy you know so anyways take care of yourselves don't don't you don't you don't need an excuse the ones the ones that make you explain yourself and always have excuses for you about why they they didn't show up for you you know let it go and move on. Don't even entertain the, the fucking thoughts because there's no time for it. There's no time for excuses. If you, you know, it's like, I, that's, that's what I've learned about having a back, having a back issues. It's like, I have to, I have to move with compassion with myself. There's no, like anybody who doesn't care or doesn't want to hear about it or doesn't understand. I don't expect anybody to understand. I don't go around telling people about my back problems, even though I'm doing that right now in a video, but I don't just, like approach the world like, help me, I have a back problem. I try to get through it until my back hurts and then I get through the back pain. But at that same time, if people are being impatient with me. They don't know that I'm suffering. And so I can have compassion for myself when they don't, you know? But, you know, my back's fine right now. I'm okay. It's, it comes and goes. And actually, I plan on healing it. So we'll talk more about that later. Thank you for watching and listening. God bless you. Be kind to yourself and each other. Be patient and compassionate with yourself and each other.